In this lesson for Nix Software Sharpener Pro 3.0, we'll take a brief look at the user interface and how the five products have been standardized to this new interface look, where all the tools available for each product are available on the right side of the interface and the viewing tools across the top. If you'll notice in the upper left corner, we have three different types of views single image view, split preview, side by side preview, and under modes, we have sharpened image sharpening soft proof and then we have the effect overlay and effect mask which allows you the ability to see selective sharpening from viewpoint technology where you place a control point you can see before and after and where the exact sharpening will take place and where it will not take place also you can see we have the select tool the zoom tool the pan tool or hand tool and also the ability to change the background color from light gray medium gray to dark gray as we come around the corner on the right side, you'll notice the next feature is Add New Preset. This allows you the ability to save up to 10 customized presets for sharpening based on the output devices that you use most frequently and the paper surfaces and the resolution of your printers. This allows you to basically have one-click sharpening solution, saving you time and lots of effort. Under output sharpening, you can see that we have several options. First one is display. Display gives you the ability to visually sharpen for the output, for the sharpening to be used for a VGA printer, a monitor, website, anything that you can visually adjust sharpening for. Beneath this, we have inkjet, which gives you the ability to adjust the viewing distance, which we recommend you leave on auto, paper type, and printer resolution. Next we have creative sharpening which gives you control over the sharpening strength in this case the default is set to 100 percent and three new sliders that are brand new to our sharpening products which structure is the first one which allows you the ability to control and enhance sharpening in texture and smooth areas between fine lines and edges and also local contrast which gives you sharpening over those fine lines and those edges that appear within your photograph Focus is a new adaptive type sharpening where in an image where you have some areas sharp and some areas slightly out of focus, the adaptive sharpening will apply more sharpening to the out of focus image area than in the areas that is already sharper. So it's an adaptive algorithm that was written specifically for that. And if you increase that, you'll uh, increase that effect and go into the left or moving to the left side of the slider you can introduce slight blurring in your picture which can also be applied selectively and can be a nice effect. Next you have selective sharpening and in selective sharpening we have two options. We have color ranges where you preset a specific color or tonality and you can sharpen based on that at 100 percent, 50 percent, zero, whatever percentage you want. For example in the sky in a scenic picture you might want to collect, click on blue sky and move the slider to zero, initializing zero sharpening in the sky. The other way to selectively sharpen is the patented U-point technology with control points. Once we have control points, we can click to add a control point to an area of our photograph, and we have the exact same controls that we have in the creative sharpener. So we have the top slider would be the size of the area we wish to cover. The next we would have the output sharpening strength and then we have structure, local contrast, and focus. So this is one of the most clever and intuitive ways to work so that you can specifically select out certain areas or objects within your picture and sharpen according to those areas and what you need for each of those specific areas. So we hope that you enjoy working with the new sharpener software. It is very intuitive, it's very fast, and again, all the algorithms are specifically written based on the output device that you'll be using, as opposed to trying to use guesswork and sharpen based on what you see on your computer's monitor.